Okay, guys. Um, so I have a I had a call uh, saying that the dryer uh, was not working, and I really found a a mess over here. A really mess. It's really messed up. Uh, they had plugged a four prong uh, outlet on a three prong outlet and. How do I know that? Because on the wiring here, which is messed up in here, it's only three wires. All right, the ground and these two, which carries power. So what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is just I gotta connect the correct three prong wire for the dryer. Each one of these, this is this white one is now neutral. This is 110. Each one of them. Uh, to create uh, the 220 so I'm gonna connect the uh, prong I mean the three prong uh, outlet on the wall and then I'll show you how to connect the uh, on the on the dryer so the first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna knock down this uh, plug out uh, once you plug it in with the uh, screwdriver this it comes off uh, this is where the wiring is going to go it's going to be on the wall and that's where the wiring is, is going to go uh, i'm going to secure it i'm going to secure that into the wall with these uh, screws right there and uh, then we continue working on this okay okay guys to be able to make these connections you have to unscrew this bolt so that way this thing can go in there and it locks in place and then you push the wire through there like that and then start tightening it okay and that's how you plug this it's off camera but as you can see okay it was locked in place And the same thing with the uh, ground. This is the ground, and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Okay, so we have now the connections, the 110, 110. Obviously, first make sure that you don't have power at all. Security is first. Remember these things, they can kill you guys in an instant. So make sure you don't have power. So you got 110, 110, and the ground. This is a three prong, this is the old style of uh, uh, dryers or, or ranges uh, the new ones they have an extra secure uh, and uh, okay well now it's a matter of uh, slicing the uh, cover back on put in the screw and then the, the three prong it's all set up we have our uh, three prong uh, wire are we gonna Connect to uh, the wrench, and uh, this is very easy. Um, now on the four prong, on the four prong, this uh, neutral it's in here, but we're gonna connect it right here, and we gotta make sure this thing is really tight, really tight, guys. This is this is no joke. So this goes in here. But when you have the three wire, uh, it's real easy to connect. Uh, middle goes in the middle and the two sides, they go on the sides. That's it. That's how it goes. Okay, so we're going to remove those uh, bolts. Uh, make sure you don't drop them because uh, because if you drop them, uh, you got to open this thing. you got to open the, the back. So we're going to loosen them up. So I lose the bolts and I'm just going to start taking them out without dropping it. And I'm going to put it aside and I'm going to remove all these two, okay? All right. Okay guys, so we're going to make sure we're going to run the uh, cable through these clips. And then we're going to put each one of the uh, wires connected to each one of the prongs. Like I said, like I mentioned it. The middle it goes in the middle 
a lot of wind in here. This is bothering me a little bit, but anyway, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so I'm getting the first one in. Make sure you got these wires really tight, guys, okay? Okay, so I got the first one and I gotta put the other two, okay? Okay, so I got the three wires connected. Ground or neutral or ground and uh, two powers. Now we gotta connect this white wire to the ground. And this also, you need to make sure it's really tight, okay guys? No joke, no loose, no nothing, just really tight. I mean, don't go over it because then you're gonna strip the uh, metal, but yeah, it has to be tight. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it done and I'll come back to you. Alright guys, so as you can see, there's power on the drive. We're right on. Okay, work a, sh a, sh a shaft.